jumping right into installing a Facebook Pixel on WordPress, and we're gonna start in WordPress. Log into your dashboard, then click on Plugins, Add New, and just search Facebook Pixel. By the way, if you plan to run ads for purchases, you wanna use a tool like WooCommerce or Cartflows and use their Pixel plugin, since that's the way they integrate the Pixel with the shopping cart. I'll link to more info on that in the description. Look for Pixel Your Site. I find the free version of Pixel Your Site is less buggy and has more features than Facebook's official plugin. Click Install Now, then click Activate. Scroll down to the left side. You should see Pixel Your Site slightly below Settings. Click on that. Then under Your Meta Pixel, click Click for settings. We now need a pixel ID, and we're gonna head to Facebook to either create a new pixel or grab that pixel ID from an existing pixel. Open a new window, and we'll go back and forth between WordPress and Facebook, so don't close out of either. Go to business.facebook.com slash settings slash pixels. If you wanna set up an existing pixel, you can just copy the ID right here. You'll likely be creating a new pixel. Go to add, and then give it a name. I would leave the website URL blank, then go continue. You can now copy the pixel ID from the URL. It will be 16 numbers right after the text pixels. Drag over those numbers and then click copy. Go back to pixel your site on WordPress and we can now just paste the pixel code in meta pixel ID. Scroll all the way down toward the very bottom and click save settings. Go back to Facebook so we can send some test traffic. Choose set up pixel now. Choose Add Code to Partner Integration. Scroll down to find WordPress. We already went through the steps to install on WordPress. Click Next twice. We'll want to send test traffic. Enter in your website URL and then click Send Test Traffic. It will open up your website and make sure you have app blockers turned off. Once the page loads, go back to Facebook. It can take a few minutes for it to turn to active. If it's not turning active, make sure you did select Save Settings and pixel your site. If you're still having issues, I'll have a video down below. Once it's active, you can now close out of this box. The next thing you'll need to do for your pixel to track correctly is set up conversion API, which gives it way more data. Make sure your pixel selected, then do open an events manager. Go to settings, scroll down, and under conversion API, right under setup manually, you should see generate access token. Click on that and it will give you a code to use on pixel your site. Copy that code. Go back to Pixel Your Site on WordPress, click on the button, click for settings under Facebook. By default, enable conversion API and enable advanced matching should be turned on, but double check they're both blue and turned on. Paste the conversion API token under conversion API, and you want to scroll all the way down and click save settings. If you're planning on running conversion ads aimed at collecting some of these events, you have three required steps remaining. But if you aren't running conversion ads, you're all set. Go back to events manager and head to overview. Scroll down and to the left, click Add Events from the Pixel, Open Event Setup Tool. And in this example, I'll be setting up a lead, but this would apply to these other events as well. For the website URL, I'm gonna recommend you punch in the URL that people reach after they take whatever action you're trying to track. So on my website, I'm tracking a lead. And rather than having it track the button click on the sign up page, which can lead to inaccurate tracking if people click multiple times, I wanna find the page people land on after they become a lead. So I quickly built this landing page and this is the link I'll copy. Now this is key, once they hit this page, it will track them as a lead. I'll go back to Facebook to paste the link, and then click, it will open up the page, and you should see this event setup tool appear. If it isn't appearing, turn off the ad blocker. And I'll do track the URL. I'll click select an event, I'll choose lead. Make sure the URL it's showing here is the URL for the page. You can choose don't include value under value, click confirm, double check your work, and make sure the event and URL are correct, then click Finish Setup. And we want to refresh this page a few times, making sure we don't have Ad Blocker turned on. I'll go back to Facebook Event Manager to make sure it's tracking the events. You can close out of this Setup Events. And next you'll select Test Events toward the top. Make sure you have the page you just set up in the URL, then click Open Website. It will take you to that page, then go back to Events Manager, and you want to see the event you just set up being tracked. Now for me, it took 20 minutes for it to start tracking. Since it could take time, if you're still not seeing it, go to the next step and you can go back to test events later. If I had other URLs to track, I'd set those up now. Or if there are multiple pages people would land on if they became a lead, I would also set it up for those pages. Facebook now requires that you verify your domain and set up aggregated events. Go back to overview, then scroll down to aggregated event measurement, click configure web events, Find your domain, then click Verify Domain, then click Verify Domain again. Double check that the right domain is selected, 
then click here to copy this meta tag. Go back to pixel your site, paste that code here under verify domain, then scroll all the way down again and click save settings. If you have a security plugin, it's possible you'll need to briefly disable that. Now go back to Facebook and click verify domain. It should switch to verified. If it doesn't do it right away, give it some time and then try it again. Before you run ads, you wanna watch the best 2023 Facebook ads strategies and advice from some of the top advertisers in the world. This is the cheat sheet for getting the best results possible. So watch that now.